Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to the C++ tutorial. Um, this tutorial has in mind uh, to show you how to uh, actually begin C++ from the very, very scratch, from the very, very beginning. Um, on my screen you see here I have a little bit of code that I wrote, um, and this is a very simple and basic application which declares um, two variables, assigns the value of 2 to x, 2 to y, and then uh, and then perform uh, a very small addition and it's going to um, show that result onto the screen. Okay, But as of this point I don't have a C++ compiler in my computer, um, I don't have Visual Studio or anything else, all I'm using right now is Notepad. So what I want to do is go ahead and show you how, where, where to get a free compiler from a Borland website and uh, how to um, set that up so then you can actually, uh, after writing uh, your program, you can actually uh, make that into a binary, something that the machine can understand. Um, so let's get started. Let, uh, let's open Internet Explorer. And um, I'm using Google Search, so type C++ Builder, Google Search. And um, the second option here, C++, it'll take you to the C++ Builder, um, it'll take you to the uh, Code Gear website, and then over here they have the Borland C++ compiler. Click on it, it's a, as you can see here, it's a free C++ compiler download, okay? It's very good, it has all the li library that you need in there. Um, I have done this before. And so if this is the first time that you're doing it, this activate C++ compiler here, you're going to have to enter some information in here. And then after that, you'll be able to download. So once you complete that information, uh, click on the download button. You'll take it to this page. Go down to the bottom. Read everything if you want to. Agree and let me download. Take a second here. I'm going to save this to my desktop. per second so it's pretty good internet connection I'll tell you that there we go I'm gonna close it I'm gonna close this website and I'm gonna minimize my uh, my notepad here for a second double click the application run next um, it's gonna ask for the installation folder so just use the uh, just use the uh, default once yeah, it doesn't have it so it will create for you wait there for a second actually let me go back to that website really quick because I'm going to show you something as you can see they also they have a documentation here using C++ builder compiler okay and uh, I'm sure you can't read very well because the uh, uh, the resolution on the, this YouTube videos are not the greatest um, but there's a lot of information here on how to compile um, and if you if you're able to actually look at this, they make it they make it somewhat complicated because all these files that you need to compile your .cpp uh, file into an executable into a binary file, uh, they live in different folders. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna just move all those files into a specific one, so then you don't have to type all this into the command line, which becomes very uh, tedious and long every time you want to recompile the code, especially in the beginning. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to forget a semicolon. You're going to forget, uh, you know, a parenthesis. You're going to forget, you know, uh, a lot of things you're going to forget. I'll tell you that. Uh, so it becomes very, very tedious, you know, to run that all the time. Um, but again, if you have, if you want to take the time to read about this, uh, there's, there's a lot of options in here that I'm not going to cover in this short tutorial, but there's a lot of information in here, so feel free to come in here and take a look at it. The more you learn, the better it is for you anyways, isn't it? So here we go. So I have installed my C++ compiler. I am going to go into my computer here and to my C drive. And here it is. I, it's a Borland, um, Borland folder and a BCC in here. And this doesn't have a GUI, okay? It, it doesn't, uh, this, this program doesn't have a GUI, so if you're not very familiar with uh, MS-DOS, then you're probably going to have a little bit of a hard time understanding it, but hopefully you, you're you familiar with it. So first thing, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create another folder in here because I don't want to mess with the the files that, you know, where they're supposed to go. And so if anything goes wrong, we already, we have a safe copy of them. 
so I don't want to I don't want to mess with them. So over here, I'm just going to call. Uh, let's see. My this is going to be the compile program. So I'm just going to the CP folder, whatever, right? What I'm going to do now is I am going to move all these files from the bin folder to the CP folder. Okay, you stay with me. It's very not. It's really not complicated. Just once again, I create a new folder. I just name it CP. Name name whatever you want. I name it. I name the CP. I move all the files from the bin folder into the C 